Wow, what a beautiful looking place. That's really nice. So what we'll be doing is we'll be heading right back there to the base of those mountains, uh, source of the creek to fish for belly varden. Wonderful. They're gorgeous fish. There should be some good color on them this time of year. Any size? Yeah, actually there's some pretty good fish back there. We've hooked some four, five, six, seven pounders even. Wow. So that'll be a lot of fun, especially Absolutely. on that four weight. Yeah, four weight rod on a different fly. Yep, on a different <laughs> fly. Those dollies just there. Oh, yeah. Come back composition, haven't they? That big one. No way was he going to take that. No way. Are they just taking? Because like, that's a dolly doing that, and there. Yeah. What are they doing? They're just taking a, an egg, do you think, through there. Um, when the salmon do it, they're actually building their reds. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and I'm, I, I assume the dollies, because they're spawning as well. Oh, the dollies are spawning as yeah. well, oh, right. But they're also eating up as many salmon eggs as you can get. Should you just bring it through, just move it? So yeah, it... and I'd keep it high enough where you can kind of see it. Ah, right, okay, so they're quite happy to come up through yeah. the water and take it. Little ones. Yeah. So what we want is a big four pounder to come yes. up and nail it. And the way that hook Ooh. is designed, yeah. As they're going to hit that egg pattern and that trailing hook behind it, you know, they won't suck it all the way down. Right. Helps, helps keep the fish. Yeah. Now, that's the one thing I haven't understood. You've got a, an egg pattern and then, what is it, an inch, two inches away two from inches, it? Two inches, yep. Two inches, then you've got a bare hook. Yep. So why is that a good way to fish? So as they come up, it, the main thing is that it, it saves the fish from, from taking that egg pattern all the way down into their gills. Right. And that happens fairly often if you've got a hook right at your egg pattern. Yeah. So Because they hit it fairly aggressively. And what it does is they'll come and they'll grab that egg and then when you set the hook, that hook will slide up to the corner of their mouth and hook them outside of their mouth every time. Ah, I and it's see. Just, and it's just a, if you're catching release, it's, it's the only way to do it. Okay. Yeah, so really, we do want to release all these fish. Yep. If we had uh, an egg pattern with the hook in it, there's a big chance that it's going to suck it down, you're going to throat hook it or yep. gill hook it, and its chances of surviving are lower, much very, lower. Yep, very, very low. So, right. Yeah, it's a, it's, a great, it's a very effective way to fish, but, ah. it, but it's, it's much safer for the fish to do it that way. Right, now I understand. Right, now there's a dolly there, I can see it. Do you know, this is just incredible, the amount of fish here, but you can be selective, can't you, on your fish? And there are some big dollies there, and I'm starting yeah. to pick them out now. With nah, the yeah, there's some trailing fins. right behind the silvers. But these fish aren't stupid either, are they? You know, they see this egg pattern after a little while, and they, they know it's not right. Yeah, it's important to move. And the bigger ones are smarter. They yeah, really are. They are. Yeah, the small ones gather around it. Right. Yeah. Got a bit further. There you go. Whoa, I didn't mean to speak those fish. There it is. Oh. So, oh dear. I was so engrossed in just watching these fish, I forgot the strike. <laughs> Bad angling. Just a frenzy. Oh, it's madness. Look, they're all having a go. Nice. Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. And yeah. the eggs outside. Outside of the, of the, the mouth. mouth. Yeah. That does a lot to protect the fish. Do you know, I could not, whoa, oh. I could not. Now that's great because yeah. you want to put it back anyway. Yeah, exactly. So make sure it's still two inches away. Yep. And that's a regulation on a lot of rivers. Yeah, yeah, it, it's not on this one, but it's a, it's great practice. Yeah, it, it, I understand. It's a, it's a good practice. Right in the Great outside. fight. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Shallow water. All fish fight best in shallow water, don't they? Yeah. Pound for pound a, dollies are just... They really that's are. That's a really nice one there. That's my biggest so far. That is. Ooh, nice. It Good had a one. look at it, didn't it? Good one. Yeah, it came back for it.
great fighting fish, oh, especially yeah. on a four way. Yeah, that's a perfect rod for this. And a long rod makes it nice. You can reach out there yeah. in these small rivers. Get right to where the fish are. This is great fun. If you don't want to catch salmon, you catch dollies. Oh. <laughs> it's an angler's paradise. It that's is for indeed. sure. That's a really nice one there. Another nice one. This one's got a little more color. Whoa. I thought I played that one out. <laughs> Jeez. It's right in the scissors. Yep. That is such a good hook hole. It's quite amazing how that works. Thank you. Yeah, That's that a one. nice fish. Now that is good. There he goes. There he goes. Beautiful. Strip back down to the bottom. Mm -hmm.